G'day everybody. I've been out and about. I've been a bad boy. Spent some money. Got myself this old oscilloscope. It's a Neotronics Model OS620. Seems to be in perfect working order. Takes about five minutes to warm up, but it's older than me, so I take longer than that to get warm, get going in the morning. Um, something interesting here. I've been playing around trying to, you know, familiarise myself with the controls and everything. And I uh, looking at the uh, sine wave off a uh, plug pack I've got here, and that sine wave looks rather dirty. It's all clippy and kind of. It doesn't look much like a sine wave. I'm not sure whether it's just uh, my setup of the machine, but no matter what I do, it seems to look like that anyway. Um, I've tried changing the time base and all you do is see more lumps or less lumps so while Alex is learning how to use oscilloscope I'll get you guys to uh, have a look I do have it centered on the almost centered there Let's get back on AC DC that's not gonna oh, don't know anyway uh, I was reading online and they said a good way to look at the waveform of your mains without exposing the meter or yourself to the mains is to hook it up to an isolation transform which I did uh, that's a 15 volt AC there's not meant to be anything inside there's no filtering regulating anything like that it's just a transformer as far as I know and if that's how dirty my mains are no wonder I needed a uh, UPS to keep my computer equipment alive because uh, that's disgusting either that or I just haven't got this thing set up right but I'm fairly sure I have it's uh, yeah, it, no matter what I change, it just opposites and things like that, so... Mm, but it's a really nice old unit. I actually wanted to get an older one rather than one of the brand new digital ones because, oh, I don't know, there's just something about that pretty... There's just something about that trace that just... Uh, it's romantic somehow. The uh, modern uh, digital ones don't have that same uh, romance as I would say. I don't know, older electronics to me just seem to be more interesting than the brand new stuff. Um, and older test tools like this are more interesting to me than the new stuff as well. I want to get my uh, flyback triple five driver on this and uh, see what it's doing. It seems to stall out the uh, fly, the triple five seems to stall out after you know running for a few seconds, so I don't know if it's uh, something dodgy there, but anyway. Neotronics OS-620 oscilloscope um, I believe it's 400 volts peak to peak I'm not sure, I'll have to double check I can't really find any actual specs I can find specs on the Chinese one but not the original so uh, that's it, Alex's new oscilloscope thanks for watching um, and if anyone can tell me why this uh, sine wave looks so dirty coming out of that power pack and also, if I can actually correct this, if I set the scales right and I set the probe to 10 times, I think I should be able to connect it directly to the mains without any trouble, but I'd like to hear some advice on that first. So anyway, Alex's first play with an oscilloscope. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, the trace isn't that solid off the camera. It's actually flickering slightly on the on the CRT there, but the, uh, the uh, digital camera here seems to pick it up perfectly. a little probe ground at one and ten times then on the one times and hook it back on and see what happens hold up Yep, still just as dirty, if not worse. That's the way you can play with these smooth things out and stuff. I don't know, I've got to figure all this out. But anyway, if anyone's got some advice to me, I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching.